Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you are not doing well, I am happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. So a while back when I posted a video, I think about the UFO spotting, one of you shared a comment with me in the comment box about how the CDC website has zombie preparedness on it. And I remember looking and finding it on the website. It wasn't much, but then after I found another article that basically said it wasn't a big deal, it was just a advertise it was a promotional way to get people's attention for preparedness. Then earlier today a friend sent me a picture. Um, I'm going to share the picture with you guys. Basically, it was a picture with the truck with um, on the back of it. It's like a zombie preparedness truck or something like that. But I assumed it was Photoshop. Even if it wasn't, I guess I just assumed that. So then I went to DuckDuckGo and put in zombie preparedness and it took me back to the CDC website but instead I found an actual article with a PDF and I thought the article was super helpful like basically the article is super helpful and I'm gonna share the link in the comment box below or in the I'm gonna share the link with you guys basically I thought this article was super helpful because it's for educators and basically it's preparing, teaching them how to prepare the students in case of an emergency. Like, you know, if we don't believe such things as zombie attacks are possible, I guess any other major emergency where it's like it's teaching the kids how to pretty much form a community. And, you know, like, I was saying to a friend earlier in messaging, it's like, I think it's a great indirect way and a bit gaslighting if you ask me, but I think it's a great indirect way to prepare people for something that is probably possible. But of course, if you come out and tell people it's possible, tell people it's real, like a possible zombie attack is real, like people will freak out. So the best way to prepare people is to say it's fictional, but give you all the steps and the tools that you need. And when the real thing happened, it's like, oh, shoot, we were prepared for this. I thought it was fake, but it's actually real. Like, I don't know what to think because I think back about like the past when a lot of, you know, things were consp considered conspiracy and over time we're realizing that conspiracy isn't a conspiracy and it's a real actual thing, you know? So I don't know if it's just for promotional purposes, why, you know, zombie preparation is used as a way to prepare us for something major and it's really like a promotional thing to get our attention or maybe a low-key it's a real thing and there's things that they know that they're doing that could you know affect our dna and cause us to you know turn into zombies like who knows really but either way, I thought that the article was helpful as far as like showing how to restore order in a situation like that. And I think it's important to look into the article and see if you may find it to be helpful. Like you never know what can happen. I think it's super important though to have like a, a grab bag, a, a bug, a bug out bag. One of my clients, um, told me about a while back, basically just having a bag packed in case of emergencies. And I'm not trying to scare anyone or fear monger or anything, but I mean, it doesn't hurt to have a bag, a bag packed and store aside with essential things that you might need in case if you had to just 
you know, grab a bag in the middle of the night and be out, you know, so it's good to have it, store it aside and never need it than to, you know, have an emergency situation like that and you miss out, you lose out on time because of course in emergency situations like that, the most important thing is time, you know, so if you can buy more time by being prepared, you know, that makes a big difference. So I don't know why it was important to say that, but check the article out, you know, check it out, print it out. And I think it's good to have. I think it's something that's good to have one side inside of like your get out bag or whatever. It's a good way to restore order in a time of chaos. And with Uranus in, in Taurus, you know, our earth is going to, our earth, our foundation, our stability, everything that, you know, brings us comfort and security, all that is going to be shooken up and experience major extremes. You know what I'm saying? Along with Saturn in Aquarius, you know, and, and Saturn in Aquarius, you know, that's our, the groups that we associate ourselves with, you know, Aquarian energy as in the age of Aquarius, Aquarian energy talks about darkness, darkness, because the sun is in Leo in the opposite sign. So, you know, it talks about us moving into a, a time of darkness, you know, where things aren't so certain. And also too, with Aquarian energy, it talks about groups, you know, maybe we might need to survive as groups. It talks about picking sides. And, you know, we all see how, you know, it's girls against guys and it's, you know, this against that one, them against that one, divide and conquer. So it's like with everything going on in the world, like astrologically, we can see what's happening here. So it just doesn't hurt to be prepared. Like it's better to be prepared and never needing, you know, the preparation than to not be prepared. So I sat, I read the article, I thought it was helpful. And I think you should look into it too you know, something to have in your get out bag if you have one, or if you have a family, uh, you know, you live with a big family. I like the way how the questions that it asks, and I'm assuming that you would fill in the answers to those questions based on your living situation. But either way, you guys, um, if you're still here with me, I would love to hear about it. Please let me know by dropping me a green heart in the comment box below. I look forward to hearing from you. Love yourself as if your life depended on it, because it does. Take care of yourself, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.